Jake Michael outside Houston with more on the everyday heroes who are stepping up to help each other after Hurricane Harvey. Hi, Michael. Hi, uh, hey, hey, Lara, you know what? They are stepping up. I am here outside the city of Houston at a fairground. They turned into an animal shelter that's been run by hundreds of volunteers. But so many people in this community, they are stepping up. They are helping out. I had a chance yesterday to go to the Windsor Village United Methodist Church, and I watched ordinary people do extraordinary things. Check it out. A tale of neighbors helping neighbors. And as some struggle to survive in the wake of Hurricane Harvey's destruction, others jumping in to take care of one another. This place has been nothing but a blessing for me and my kids. I went to Windsor Village United Methodist Church in Houston, where I spoke with Pastor Kirby John Caldwell, who's counseled three presidents and now is focusing his energy on Harvey recovery. And so how many, how many people do you have here now? I think we're down to 21 now. And overall, how many people have been able to come here I, and, and receive some type of help? Over 2,000 persons over 2, and counting. We are a distribution center, you said it, not a warehouse. We receive it to get, get it into it the here. hearts and hands and homes of the folk who need it. The house of worship turning into a house of health. Oh, this is it's private. This is just a community. These are just people coming together who, who, who love their fellow citizens. Man, it, it was just uh, humanity at its best. In spite of all the desperation and the destruction that has occurred around us, the light of hope has been, is, and will continue to be the caring community of Houston, Texas. Volunteers stepping up working day in and day out. You're spending, what, 16, 18 hour days? Oh, 24. 24 <laughs> hour days? You don't have to be a member of the church to come here. You just have to be somebody in need. We're a village, and a village doesn't consist of who's a member. A village consists of who wants to give and has the same love for what you have a love for. Even people who are displaced lending their time. They open their doors for us. Mm -hmm. And for me, I can give back. We bumped into Eric Preston as he was donating 110 cases of water. I made it through the flood, you know, I was fine. So I, I wanted to help out. Amanda Bennett and Nadia Eubanks both staying at the church, finding new friendship in the face of hardship. We lost everything, everything. But you know what, at the end of the day, you have your kids, your husband is going to get better, and you, still got you, and, and you got yourself. We're going to make it. You're going to make it. It's going to be okay. And then I'm going to be walking down the street, and somebody's going to tap me on my shoulder, and you're going to say, Michael, it's Amanda. You remember me? I made it. That's what I'm looking forward to. All right? Hang in there. It'll be all right. A little help going a long way. Just being here and the presence of everybody that's volunteering and the staff here, that's a blessing in itself. And they're doing a lot to help us to try to assure that when the doors are closed that we're not out on the streets. And, and I got to say, guys, as you can see, there's so much love, so much humanity here. And I have to point out again that, that Windsor Village United Methodist Church, they're going strictly off of donations and just support from the community. And you don't have to be a member of the church for them to help you out. They're just helping out anybody who is in need. Now, it is an incredible place to visit, an incredible place to see. Yeah, and incredible acts of kindness too, Michael. Thank you. And I understand you have some very special plans today. Yeah, yeah, I get, a, I get a chance to go over and talk to J.J. Watt. Everybody knows J.J.'s raised $20 million or more to help out the city of Houston, doing a lot to give back to the community in which he lives. So I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to get on the plane. I'm going to come back to New York, and I'm going to be in the studio with you tomorrow to bring that story as well. We're looking forward to that, and please give J.J. all our best. He's doing such a great job down there. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.